Hello friends, today we will be learning about microbial production of antibiotics. Antibiotics, they are compounds that kill or inhibit the growth of other orga organism. That means they can kill or they can uh, stop the growth of uh, other microorganisms and such compounds are known as antibiotics. Most antibiotics are produced by filamentous fungi or actinomycetes. Filamentous fungi are known as actinomycetes and, the, and most of the antibiotics are produced by these group of fungi that is actinomycetes. They are derived from special microorganisms or other living systems and are produced on an industrial scale using a fermentation process. The antibiotics are produced on a large scale by a technology known as fermentation technology and today over 10,000 antibiotic substances have been reported and these antibiotics are produced by fermentation technology and fermentation technology is nothing but it is a large scale microbial process occurring without with or without air is known as fermentation. This process, this fermentation process may take a few days to obtain an extractable amount of product. So, uh, this process of fermentation uh, should be carried out for a few days to get a reasonable amount of the product. That means here it is antibiotics. And this antibiotic production is done by batch process of fermentation. It is done by batch by batch process. So coming to the properties of microorganisms used in the industry. So uh, the properties of microorganisms which are used for the production of antibiotics, that industrial production of antibiotics are, they, grow, they should grow rapidly on large scale in inexpensive medium. That, that means it should be the microorganisms should be able to grow rapidly. They, they are fast growing uh, microorganisms and they are uh, growing on a large scale in an inexpensive medium, in a cheap medium. And the second property of these microorganisms used in this industrial production is they should be able to produce desired product quickly. The desired product should be produced quickly by these microorganisms which are used. Then they should be non-pathogenic. Non-pathogenic -patho organisms or pathogenic uh, microorganisms cannot be used for the production or uh, industrial production of these antibiotics or other products. They, are, they should be amenable to genetic modification. They should be uh, subjected to or they should be suitable for genetic modification. Some of the microbial products that are produced by the microorganisms include microbial cells, enzymes, antibodies, steroids, alkaloids, food additives, ethanol, citric acid, etc. The microbial cells constitute of the cells that are produced industrially that means the pleurotus like uh, mushrooms uh, then uh, other uh, beverages and wine beer etc coming to the metabolites Metabolites are intermediates and the products of metabolism. They are the products that are produced by the microorganisms uh, in process of their metabolic activities. There are two types of metabolites. There are primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. Primary metabolites, they are produced by the organisms uh, that are essential for their growth and maintenance. So, they are produced in, along with their uh, growth. That means the primary metabolites are mostly produced at their uh, log phase of their growth curve. 
so uh, then the examples are the amino acids vitamins carbohydrates lipids nucleic acids and enzymes that are required for their growth and the secondary metabolites they are produced uh, from the primary metabolites as end products of their metabolic activities so the secondary metabolites are formed uh, close to the stationary phase of their growth curve examples are drugs toxins steroids and polymeric substances like sub rubber then coming to the production of antibiotics production of antibiotics can be done by three methods natural microbial production semi synthetic production and synthetic production natural microbial production means a complete uh, natural production by the microorganisms using fermentation technology example is penicillin semi synthetic production means the microorganisms produce the antibiotics and which are further modified for the industrial purpose example ampicillin and the third type is synthetic production that means the antibiotics are produced completely by artificial means in the lab example quinoline then coming to the fermentation technology which are used for the production of industrial production of antibiotics the source microorganism is grown in large containers containing a liquid growth medium the source microorganism means the micro desired microorganisms that are capable of producing the uh, product we are looking for so it should be grown in large scale in large contain containers usually liquid growth medium are used the optimum conditions of oxygen concentration temperature ph and nutrient levels must be maintained for the optimum production of the desired product and these antibiotics uh, they are secondary metabolites so they are produced close to the stationary phase of the growth of these microorganisms so the population size must be controlled very carefully to ensure the maximum yield of the products before the microbial cells die the requirements the basic requirements for the fermentation technology a pure culture of the chosen organism is and that too in sufficient quantity sufficient quantity of pure culture of the chosen or required organism should be there then sterilized carefully composed media for growth of organism the to grow the pure culture of this chosen organism the medium should be carefully composed for the optimum growth of the organism and that too should be sterilized and a seed fermenter uh, which is a mini model of the production fermenter that means the large vessel or large containers uh, mentioned earlier it is the production fermenter the small model uh, or the mini model of this production fermenter is known as seed fermenter which is used to develop inoculums that is uh, the microorganism to initiate the process in the main fermenter and the and a production fermenter or the large vessel or large containers that are used for the uh, production of the antibiotics and other equipments used are for drawing the culture medium in steady state cell separation collection of cell free supernatant product product purification and effluent treatment these are coming uh, in later uh, steps of the fermentation technology after the production or after the uh, required growth of the microorganism or after the production of the uh, desired product we should be uh, we should extract the product from the this culture or this large fermenter for that we have to do several steps and they are known as downstream processing the processing of the product after uh, fermentation is known as downstream processing and uh, that uh, that includes this step 5 these are these uh, step 5 the processes uh, mentioned here in step 5 
comes under the downstream process and the upstream constitute of one to two three steps one two three steps the raw material used for the fermentation are the broth which is an aqueous solution made up of all the ingredients necessary for the proliferation of the microorganisms the broth contains carbon source and nitrogen source which are required for the uh, optimum growth of the microorganism carbon source may be of molasses soy meal acetic acid alcohols or carb hydrocarbons and ni nitrogen source are uh, mostly ammonia salts are used and these are the food source of the organism so we have to provide optimum food for the microorganism for getting maximum yield or maximum products. Coming to the steps in the antibiotic production. First, it is starter culture. A starter culture must be there. Uh, that is the desired organism. The culture, pure culture of the desired organism. Before fermentation process, the desired microbe must be isolated and its number must be increased by many times desired amount of microbes desired amount of desired microbes should be uh, there before uh, we start the fermentation process the initial culture is then transferred to the shake flask containing nutrients necessary for growth first we obtain these starter culture or we obtain this desired microbe in a plate and then this initial culture is transferred to a shake flask to scale up the amount or scale up the uh, number of the starter culture and then uh, from the shake flask it is then transferred to seed tanks for uh, further scaling up the uh, amount of the starter culture if we have a larger amount of starter culture we can get maximum products then the seed tanks are steel tanks coming speaking about the seed tanks seed tanks are steel tanks designed to provide an ideal environment for growing microorganisms for the growing these uh, starter culture seed tanks they are equipped with mixers to mix the growth medium and uh, a pump to deliver sterilized filtered air in these seed tanks uh, which are used for the for growing the desired microorganisms there will be mixers and pump the intermittent mixing uh, of this growth medium with microbes helps their optimum growth after about 24 to 28 hours the material in the seed tank is transferred to the primary fermentation tank after this uh, proper growth of microorganisms are obtained the material in the seed tanks are transferred to the largest or larger vessels fermentation vessels known as fermentation tank and the next step in the production is fermentation so now we have uh, transferred the culture into the fermentation tank the fermentation tank is a larger version of seed tank which is able to hold about 30,000 gallons. Microorganisms are allowed to grow and multiply in this fermentation tank and during this process they excrete large quantities of desired antibiotics. As they grow and multiply as a byproduct our desired products will product will be produced. The Tanks are cooled to keep the temperature between uh, 23 to 27.2 degree Celsius. So the temperature must be optimum for the microorganism. And this medium, it is constantly agitated and a continuous stream of sterilized air is pumped into it to make sure of the maximum production. Anti forming agents are periodically added to. Uh, stop uh, or inhibit the uh, forming of forms.
then pH uh, pH is maintained to the optimum. For that, acids or bases are added to the tank as necessary. These are the pictorial representation of the antibiotic production. So here we can see the antibiotic producing organism is obtained in a tube and then it is transferred to shaking flask shake flask uh, to scale up the culture and then it is transferred to sorry it is transferred to here seed tank for uh, further scaling up the growth of the desired microorganism and then it is transferred to large fermentation tank and there the fermentation occurs for uh, resulting in the production of the desired antibiotic and the third step in the production of this antibiotic is isolation and purification so after fermentation uh, large amount of the antibiotics are produced into the medium so now we have to isolate or purify the antibiotic from the medium and we have to separate the microbial cells from the products that is uh, products that means here it is antibiotic after three to five days the maximum amount of antibiotic will be produced and the isolation process can begin the isolation depend on the specific antibiotic produced the fermentation growth is processed by various purification methods the hmm, the here the downstream processing uh, starts after the uh, fermentation we have to use various downstream processing according to the uh, type of antibiotic produced. Some uh, antibiotics are produced into the culture medium so that it is much more easy to uh, purify the antibiotic from the medium or some uh, products are produced in, inside the cells itself so we have to break the cells to get the product out so uh, depending upon the product nature of the product we have to adopt various downstream processing to get the uh, final purified products so an additional uh, point is here the penicillin was the first important commercial product produced by aerobic sub submerged fermentation and for this penicillium chrysogenum species is used Penicillium chrysogenum. So that's all about the uh, microbial production of antibiotics. So thank you for listening. Thank you.